Hello everyone. Welcome to my video. In this video, we'll be we'll be talking about JavaScript variables. Now, as we will be doing throughout this video series and in most of them, we'll be starting out with a HTML document, okay? And then from there, we will embed our JavaScript in that HTML document. So what I'd like you to do, if you want to follow along with me, and yes, I will include this uh, code that we'll be going over today. I'll include that in the description below. But go ahead and open up a document. If you don't know how to do that, go back to my, my earlier series on HTML. And in that series, I show you how to open, create, and save HTML, CSS, and JavaScript documents. But in either case, no matter what system you're using, whether it's Windows, Mac, or Unix and Linux, it's basically the same thing. You just pick a place or pick a folder, you open up your document in that folder, and then you go ahead and save it there. Um, in this instance, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and save this to our desktop, right? open it up I'm gonna save it to my desktop and I'm just gonna save it as a veritable dot HTML right so now we've went ahead and saved it on our desktop you can see it right here on the left hand side and now we're gonna uh, create a very simple um, HTML document if you've gone over my HTML uh, videos you know how to do this but just in case you don't we'll go ahead and do it now document type this is letting the browser know what version of HTML we are using and if you don't remember or know how to do this then you'll want to go over my HTML um, uh, video series how to build and create HTML documents. Okay. This is just very simple using tags for my HTML document. And when you create your document, you do not have to create these spaces. I'm just doing that so that you guys will be able to read it a whole lot easier. And as well as let's make it uh, bigger. This right here is the title. This will show up in the um, in the browser, and we're just creating a tag, a title tag of the page, and we're calling it a veritable page. And then we're going to create a body. Then we're going to go ahead and close that body as well as the whole HTML document. All right, so this is our basic HTML document, right? Now, there are two places where you can put your scripts, whether it's JavaScript, whether it's CSS, whether it's PHP. There are two places that you're uh, going to put your scripts. You can put it right here in, in the head of your document. That way you can ensure that it loads up first. And by the time your whole web page loads up, the script will run because it's in the head document and that will be uh, loaded up first. You can also put your JavaScript or your scripts in the body of your website. And that's what we're going to do today. So we already have our basic uh, website up or web page representation. Now, let's go ahead and create a head and this is going to be called JavaScript variables. Hope I'm spelling variables right. Okay, so then we got our heading or our head. Now what we want to do is we want to create a um, an ID for the JavaScript to pick up on. And we'll go over that in just a minute. So we're going to create an ID and this is a this is an HTML tag or attribute for lack of a better term okay and then we're gonna name our ID we're gonna use two double quotes 
and we're going to name our ID demo okay and then we're going to close this tag and then we're going to close the P tag with the P being a paragraph or whatever word or character you want to put in there and now what we're going to do now is we're going to embed our JavaScript code and to embed our JavaScript code we want to use the script tag if you do not remember or know what a tag is an HTML tag to be exact you'll want to go over the HTML uh, video series that I created I'll, I'll provide a link in the description below but anyway you want to create a script opening tag and a script closing tag and this is where you're going to put your JavaScript information and code right here. So, as with this video uh, stated previously, this is regarding JavaScript script variables. So let's just go ahead and create a variable. In JavaScript, you want to use the keyword var so that, pe so that the uh, browser and the JavaScript libraries know that you're referencing a variable. Okay, and all a variable is is just a placeholder of a value that you want JavaScript to use at a later date. You so you started with the keyword var, and then you create your JavaScript or you create your variable name. In our case, we're going to call it num1. That's the name, and then you want to give it a value, right? So we'll give it the value five. Now. Since this is a number we're dealing with and not a character, which would be five, if, it's, if this was a character, we would use quotes. We would use double quotes or single quotes. All right. And then at the end of that, we would use a semicolon. And that just tells JavaScript that we're done with that statement. Okay. However, in this case, we are using an actual number five and numbers do not require any quotes around it that's just uh, JavaScript de design and now we're going to create another variable with the var keyword we're going to name this one two and we're going to give it the value six okay so now we have created two variables one name num1 with the value of 5 and one name num2 with the value of 6 okay and then we're going to create a third variable and we're going to call it total oops since I learned how to spell it alright and then we're going to make the total um, num1 plus num2 right and then we're gonna complete that statement or variable with a semicolon every variable once you've given it a value you want to complete it with a semicolon alright and then we want to go to the next line and this is where we're gonna go ahead and have JavaScript find out where this information is on the page so we want to create what is known as a uh, HTML method or an HTML function but it's called a HTML method and here's how you create it it's document dot get and you have to type it out exactly as I am now so that the JavaScript library will know what you're talking about right document dot get element by ID and then the quotes with double double quotes in between and then you want to type in the ID which for us is demo right and then you want to do a dot I N N E R H T M L this right here is an attribute or uh, a property it's known also as a property right and let's see here we want to do the property and we want to tell it what to get which oops it, that needs to be a semicolon I always like to complete my statements or sentences with a semicolon we're going to take out that one single quote uh, quote and then we're going to put in 
what we're looking for or what we want to put on the page, which is, oops, I got to take my cap locks off and then the total is, and then colon, and then, oops, 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 okay, do that, and then we want to do plus total, and then we're done, right? So, let's go over this real quick. As we said, we created an HTML document, and in this document, for the website itself, we gave the website name of Veritable. We put that there in the title. And then in our body, we went ahead and did H1 for JavaScript Veritable. So you're going to see that in very bold letters. And then for the paragraph, we created a paragraph ID, and we gave that ID a name of Demo. The reason why we did that is so that the JavaScript code will be able to put whatever we want to right here where it shows demo. Well, it's not going to put it there. It's going to put it in between here, between uh, the paragraph ID and the closing paragraph tag, right? Okay. Now, once we do this, this is all HTML code coding, by the way. We create uh, two tags. And this is uh, a, for JavaScript tag. So we create an opening script tag and a closed script tag. And in between that, we put in our variables. We have three variables here. With the keyword var, we create variable one, or num1, num2, and then total. And then each one of these variables, we have given a value. You can give it whatever value you want to. That's why they call it a variable. You can change it and give it whatever value you want to. But in this case, we give num1 the value of 5, num2 the value of 6, and a, a variable total adds num1 plus num2. Okay? And then we use the JavaScript method document.getElementID which is named demo, and that will be put up here by JavaScript, okay? And then what do we want to put up there? We want to put up there this property, which is the total is, and then the total will go right here, right here, okay? So we go ahead and save this document, and then we go ahead and load it up here in our browser. So let's go ahead and open up our browser. Any browser will do. And then we just go ahead and put our variable um, uh, document, HTML document right there. And as you can see, that right there shows our variable. Let me readjust this so that you can see both right there. So, make this larger and make this larger. So as you can see, we have right here in our web page, it shows variable, right? That's for our title. And then as you can see for our head one, we have put in the word JavaScript variables. And then you're not going to see the variable, uh, the variable name and, and values. That's in JavaScript. Um, you can see that when you look at the page resource, and we'll go over that later as well. But what you're going to see here is the total from your uh, JavaScript um, uh, variable. And again, to go over this again, what we did was we created three variables, num1, num2, num, and, and total. We gave them values right and then we added those values with the document dot get element by id right what id were we looking for we were looking for the demo id which is what javascript used to put the total on the website page okay and we put that demo right here so this is where the total goes and that's how we discuss variables variables are just um their containers 
for values that we want JavaScript to hold for us until we access it at a later date. And that's just the basic simple concept of what a variable is. So thank you very much. I appreciate you looking at this video. Please like and subscribe. And yes, the, um, the coding for this will be made available as a link in the description below. I appreciate you watching my video. Thank you, and you have a good day. Bye-bye.